From the 1920s to the 1950s, pineapple surged in popularity in the U.S. Meats were adorned with them, desserts were made with them, and they appeared on clothing and house decor all over the nation. But how did pineapples get so popular? Where did they come from, and who was growing them? The leading producer of pineapples in the early to mid-20th century was Hawaii, due to its lush soil and long growing season. But prior to the turn of the century, it was mostly small-scale local farmers. High duties on imported fruit prevented a profitable market in the States. Two changes occurred that made the pineapple market surge, the annexation of Hawaii and the creation of the Hawaiian Pineapple Company. These two seemingly disparate changes are more closely linked than one would think. In 1893, a coup d'etat led by American minister to Hawaii, Lauren A. Thurston, overthrew Queen Lelukilani and the Hawaiian monarchy. A provisional government was set up headed by Sanford Dole. Dole ca campaigned for the annexation of Hawaii in order to open profitable markets in the sugar and tropical fruit trade. Enter James Dole and the creation of the Hawaiian Pineapple Company in 1901. Dole knew that in order to make pineapples profitable, they had to be canned. He went about mechanizing the pineapple industry, which kept prices low and production high. By the 1920s, the pineapple industry was so mechanized that the only jobs workers had were picking and canning. Cannery workers were mostly women and school ch children working for extra money, but the laborers were a different story. 94% of laborers were Filipino, and many of them were sugarcane workers looking for work in the off-season. Pineapple companies set up towns like Linay City, where workers would live close to the plantation. These towns had their own amenities, and 92% of the inhabitants were pineapple workers. With the increase in mechanization and other chemical and agricultural advances, many pineapple companies went into overproduction in the 1920s. In order to create a market in the States, pineapple industries had vigorous and calculated advertising in women's magazines and grocery stores. Women were targeted in the ads because they were the ones shopping and cooking. Oftentimes it was implied they would be better mothers and wives if they fed their families pineapples. Special cookbooks and housewife testimonials were used to sell the commodity. With the consumer mu movement thriving in the 20s and conformity being the norm in the 50s, women ate up these advertisements and the popularity of pineapples peaked in these two decades. Without the annexation of Hawaii and the increase in consumerism of the 20th century, we would not consume pineapples the way that we do today.